Just over a month, after Prince Harry married American actress Meghan Markle, the extended British royal family will have its first same-sex wedding. Lord Iver Mountbatten, will marry his partner, James Coyle. Mountbatten is the Queen's third cousin once removed, and the great-great-great-grandson of Queen Victoria. However, his family name gives him a higher profile in British aristocratic circles. He is the great-nephew of Earl Mountbatten of Burma, the World War II naval commander, who led allied military forces in Southeast Asia. Two years ago, Lord Iver created quite a stir, when he confessed to having struggled with his sexuality throughout most of that 16-year marriage. Finally, he admitted he was gay, after finding contentment with his new love James Coyle, whom he met in the Swiss Whiskey Resort of Verbier. We'll be pronounced partners in marriage, but the ceremony itself will be very small," Mountbatten, 55, revealed in a family interview. He divorced his ex-wife Penny, with whom he has three daughters, in 2011. She will give her former husband away at the event. It was the girl's idea, Penny said, referring to her daughters. It makes me feel quite emotional. I'm really very touched. The wedding will take place on Mountbatten's Bridwell Park country estate in Devon, southwest England, this summer. The former geologist and chicken farmer has been running the historic house, and its grounds, as an upscale wedding venue but it is currently for sale at $6.5 million. It is not clear whether any senior royals will attend the ceremony. In a reflection of social change. Royal attitudes to homosexuality have progressed since 1960, when Jeremy Fry, Lord Snowden's choice of best man for his wedding to Princess Margaret, was vetoed after it was discovered he had a conviction for a minor homosexual offence. Harry and Meghan, who wed on May 19, have made clear their support of gay rights, reportedly telling gay delegates from across Britain's former empire the Commonwealth that they would put LGBT issues at the front of their work.